Hi students. In this lecture, I am going to discuss problems from Miro. Let us see first one. A body of mass m is a hauled from the earth surface by applying a force f bar varying with the height of ascent y as f bar equal to 2 into a by minus 1 into mg bar where a is a positive constant. Find the work performed by this force and the increment of body's potential energy in the gravitational field of the earth over the first half of the ascent. He is asking over the first half of the ascent. That means first we should know what is the maximum height. Okay. Then we can find over the first half of the ascent. Right. Let us see how to start. So asking work performed by this force and increment of body's potential energy. Right. First of all, see the given data. given force f bar equal to f bar equal to 2 into a y minus 1 into m g bar this is a given force where y stands for a height from ground so we have to get first of all what is maximum height. You can see this starts from rest. From ground starts from rest. Suppose maximum height that is H. So maximum height is take it as H. So which we have to calculate. Now we can see. Initially, no velocity. Finally, velocity is zero. That means delta k equal to zero. Right? That means we can write a work energy theorem. That is, net work is equal to delta k. Or we can write work done by net force equal to zero. Both are same. First, write down here what is net force. Somebody here, net force. F net, I am taking the vector form only. It is equal to given force 2 into Ay minus 1 into mg bar. This is the given force. Now, along with this, we are having gravitational force. So, gravitational force is now plus, plus mg bar. So I am taking sum of two vectors. This is one vector. This is one more vector. Let us see what we get. 2ay mg bar minus 2mg bar. And here mg bar. So remaining is now. It is 2ay minus 1 into mg bar. Cross check once 2a by mg bar 2a by mg bar. Okay, next 2 into minus 1 minus 2 minus 2 mg bar plus mg bar remaining is minus mg bar. Okay, this is net force. And if you observe carefully, g bar direction of g bar is downwards. That means when y value is 0, we can see. This is minus 1, right? By 0 means. Minus mg bar. Initially, net force equal to minus mg bar. That minus indicates direction is upwards. Because g bar is downwards. This minus mg bar, it is upwards. Okay? That means here, force is variable. Okay? Right. Let us take now net work done. 
net work done is equal to delta k. Now in this case, delta k equal to zero. Okay, because initially velocity is zero, finally also velocity is zero, maximum height. Okay, right. Now coming to here, since net force is variable, we should take integration. So integral to ay minus one, that is into mg. Remember, I am taking here. See what I am doing here. Work done is equal to integral f bar dot ds bar. Okay, that is equal to integral f into ds into cos of the angle. f is modulus of f bar, ds modulus of ds bar, and theta angle between those two vectors. So I'm writing same thing here. This is now modulus, modulus of the force. Okay, displacement. <clears throat> Let us take it is at one instant at a height y at one instant. Now take from here a small displacement dy. Small displacement dy. So f into ds. That is now here dy. Okay. And you can see for this force direction is g bar which is downwards. But dy is upwards. So between these two angles now 180. So cos 1.8. This is now net work done, which is equal to delta k. That is 0. Okay. Now see calculation. See from that what we get. I can take mg out of integration. It is a constant. Cos 1.8 minus. That also we can take outside. So minus mg, you can leave it. The remaining part 2ay integration of 2ay minus 1 into dy equal to 0 because minus mg that is not 0. So this part is 0. Now integrate 2ay y square by 2 because 2ay dy it becomes y square by 2 minus dy, integration of dy, that is y. That is equal to 0. Now take limits from 0 to h. So taking limits 0 to h. Then see what we get. 2, 2 gets cancelled. If you are taking h, it is a h square that is equal to h because 0 means 0 only. 1 h gets cancelled. From that h equal to 1 upon a. That is a maximum height. Okay. Right. Now see the question. So now he is asking find the work performed by this force and increment of body's potential energy in the gravitational field of the earth over the first half of the ascent. So in this, I am writing directly increment in the gravitational potential energy. That we can write directly. Delta U is equal to mg is asking over half of the height h by 2 h value how much? 1 by a. So it is now mg by 2a. That is now increment of the potential energy. Okay. That is direct one. Now focus. Work done by that given force. So by this force work done. It is again just taking definition of work done. Integral f bar dot ds bar. F modulus of that, modulus of that 2 into ay minus 1 into mg. This is modulus of f bar into ds. 
that is dy same calculation dy direction upwards g bar direction downwards so between these two angles 180 cos 180 okay limits 0 to h byte okay now see calculation part so i can take 2 mg of course cos 180 that is minus 1 so i'm taking minus 2 mg out of integration minus 2 mg remaining is now integration of integration of ay minus 1 into dy this is minus 2 mg remaining part a y square by 2 minus y. Okay. So same, right? Now see what we get here. Minus 2 mg limits 0 to h byte. Okay. Then see what we get. <clears throat> A by 2 y square h by 2 whole square that means h square by 4 okay minus h by 2 now the value of h 1 by a so here what happens see carefully and i can take 2 and 2 outside so 2 2 2 cancel minus mg minus mg so here h square 1 by a square 1 by a square means 1 by a square and this is a so it is now 1 by 4 a see carefully h square 1 by a square so 1 by 4 a h 1 by a See how much we get. You can take A outside. Minus mg by A. Remaining 1 by 4 minus 1. Okay. 1 by 4. Man, 1 by 4 minus 1. That is minus 3 by 4. This minus. Minus gets cancelled. So final answer is 3 mg by 4 A. Okay, and that is our final answer. So main thing we have to focus first calculation of maximum height. So initially velocity is zero, finally also velocity is zero. That's why we have taken net work that is equal to delta q from work energy theorem. So then we got maxo height. Then once we are getting maxo height, getting that increment in the potential energy, very simple one. And next one, just taking that definition of work done. Okay. Let us see next one. Let's see the question given. The potential energy of a particle in a certain field has the form u equal to a by r square minus b by r, where a and b are positive constants. R is the distance from the center of the field. Find the value of R naught corresponding to the equilibrium position of the particle. Examine whether this position is a study. Study means stable equilibrium. Okay. The maximum magnitude of the attraction force. Right. So given potential energy asking attractive force as well as for R naught equilibrium position, right? And what is that? Is it stable or not? Let us see. Right, first of all, note down the given data. It is given potential energy. u equal to a by r square minus 
V by R potential energy is given. Now he is asking find the value of R not corresponding to equilibrium position. Equilibrium means let the force equal to zero. That means C relation between conservative force and potential energy. So from here I can write F equal to minus du by dr. Okay. <clears throat> See. Now this is the only force acting on that. Therefore this conservative force becomes net force. See calculation part minus derivative of this. This will be minus 2a by r cube plus b by r square. Okay. Now condition is equilibrium. So net force zero. So you have equal to zero. That implies that implies what we get minus 2a by r not q okay plus b by r not square equal to 0 so from this r not square and r not you can cancel here remaining is r not so r not is equal to r not is equal to it is a 2a by b okay so for this distance, net force equal to zero. So now we have to cross check. This position, is it corresponding to stable equilibrium position or not? Okay. Then we have to focus. If it is a stable equilibrium, potential energy should be minimum. Okay. That means if I'm taking a double derivative for the means, if I'm differentiating once again, okay. And in that, if we substitute this value, if we get, if we get negative, then that will be, then potential energy will be maximum. Okay. If we are getting positive, then potential energy will be minimum. Okay. So I'm taking here once again derivative. <clears throat> So I'm cross-checking that potential energy minimum or maximum. Therefore, first derivative means we have to focus only this part. Okay. This is a first derivative of potential energy. If you take minus that gives as a force. Okay. So I'm focusing only first derivative. That is only this part. Now differentiate one second. D square U by dr square. I am taking the second derivative. So derivative for this one. Okay. For this one derivative. Then see what we get. Minus 3, minus 3 and this is minus 2 plus 6. It is now 6a by r power 4. r power 4. Here r power minus 2, right? r power minus 2. So then this becomes now this becomes now minus 2b by r cube. This is now second derivative. Okay. Now in this substitute, this value 6a by 2a by b whole power 4 minus 2b by 2a by b whole cube. Okay. Now see the calculation part. B power, B power 4 comes to here. B cube and this is B. So B power 4. So this is now D square U by DR square is equal to 6A B power 4 upon this is now 2 power 4. 2 power 4 means 4 into 4, 8, 16, right? It is 16. It is 16, cross check once. 
2 power 4, it is 16. So 16 a power 4 minus 2b, it is now 2b power 4. This is now 8a cube. Okay. Here 1 a gets cancelled, a cube. Remaining is now cross check one. So I'm taking b power 4 by a cube outside. 6 by 16. 6 by 16. See how much we get. 6 by 16 minus 2 by 8. Our conduct is a 4 by 16. Okay, 6 by 16 minus 4 by 16. So this value is greater than 0. This is greater than 0 means potential energy is minimum, right? Because 6 by 16 minus 4 by 16. This is a positive value. So since it is greater than 0, positive, potential energy is minimum. That means this is a corresponding to stable equilibrium position. Okay. Right. Now see next in the question what we have to calculate. So first part over. Next. The maximum magnitude of the attraction force. The maximum magnitude of attractive force. Then see what we have to do. We got here force. Okay. Now differentiate that and make it equal to zero. So I'm taking first of all force here. Now derivative of force should be zero. Df by dr equal to zero. That implies that implies C derivative of that F equal to zero. I think you can do a calculation here. See from this we are going to get R value. It is 3A by B. So just differentiate this force and make it equal to zero. Now in that substitute in this force substitute now this R value. Then we are going to get that corresponding maximum force. And that comes out to be B cube upon 27A square. So I think you can make this calculation, okay? This two. Right. Let us see next one. Right. See the question. In a certain two-dimensional field of force, the potential energy of a particle has a form. So given potential energy, alpha, beta are positive constants whose magnitudes are different. Whether this field is central, first question is, is a field is a central. Next, what is? The shape of the equipotential surface and also of the surfaces for which the magnitude of the vector of force F is a constant. So first potential energy is given asking field is central or no. So field central means force must be depending on distance from a point and that force must be along radial direction okay let us cross check once how to verify that so first note down this given data potential energy is given u equal to alpha x square this is okay beta this is beta y square. See, to get force, what we have to do? F equal to F equal to or you can see x component of force is given by minus dou u by dou x. Okay. Which is equal to minus 2 alpha x. In the same way, y component of force that is minus dou u by dou y. Okay. So these things we have discussed while discussing relation between conservative force and potential energy. Right. 
So f y equal to minus dou u by dou y. That is minus 2 beta y. So we get now force f equal to fx i cap. Take minus outside. Even you can take 2 outside. The remaining is alpha x i cap plus beta y j cap. Okay. Let me cross check once fx minus 2 alpha x f y minus 2 beta y. I am taking 2 outside. The remaining minus outside alpha x i cap beta y j cap. Let us recollect once. Cent central force. Central force means a force is said to be central force. It is a function of R and direction is radially, maybe outwards or maybe inwards. Means the force is towards a fixed point. Okay. Force is towards a fixed point, maybe towards that point or away from that point. The force depends on distance and it will be along the radial direction. So radial direction means if F bar cross R bar equal to 0 bar. So why I am taking like this? We are saying that force is along the radial direction. In such a case, force is radial direction means cross product must be 0. Right? So if it is a 0, then we can say that given force is a central force. For example, let us say let us take example of earth revolving around sun. Assume path is now sun. Sun and this is earth. We can see force on the earth is always towards sun. Right? And if I am taking position vector of earth with respect to sun, this is a position vector. So between this force vector and position vector, angle is now 180. So here what I am saying is central force means that a force depends on distance from a fixed point and direction will be maybe towards that point or maybe away from that point. In that case, between position vector and that force vector, angle may be 0 or 180. In such a case, if we are taking cross product, that will be 0. Okay. Let us cross check once. Is zero or not? Minus two, we can leave it. Remaining alpha x i cap plus beta y j cap cross x i cap plus y j cap r bar is position vector. Okay. This is what we have to cross check. R bar cos F bar equal to. Now see what we get. I cap cross I cap 0. I cap cross J cap that is K cap. Okay. So it is now alpha X Y K cap. Right. Next J cap cross I cap that is minus K cap. This is now minus beta X Y K cap. Alpha X Y beta X Y condition given alpha not equal to beta. So this is not equal to zero. That means this is not a central force. Okay. Next. See in that what else we have to calculate. So here we have to calculate what is the shape of the equipotential surface. So his intention is that we have to find the equation for Equipotential surface means on that surface at each and every point, potential energy is the same. Okay. We have to find the locus of all points where potential energy is the same. That means simply focus potential energy alpha x square plus beta y square. This must be a constant for all values of x and y. 
all values of x and y okay so here what i am doing is a multi you can divide this with with alpha beta okay so i am dividing with alpha beta dividing with alpha beta divide with alpha beta, okay this is now again a constant alpha cancels x square by beta plus y square by y square by alpha this I can write it as x by root beta whole square plus y by root alpha whole square is a constant. Okay. So this is now equation for ellipse. Right. This is equation for ellipse. Okay. Next, now see in the same question, we have to get also of the surfaces for which the magnitude of the vector of force is a constant. For this force, see what is magnitude? Where is force? Yeah, this is a force, okay. Magnitude 2 into square root of alpha x whole square plus beta y whole square. This is magnitude of force. Okay. And again, we have to find the surface on which at each and every point, this value is the same. That means this must be a constant at each and every point on that surface. Now square this. Then see what we get. Alpha square x square sorry, alpha square x square, beta square y square is a constant. Now divide this both sides with alpha square x square, sorry, alpha square beta square. Dividing both sides with alpha square beta square. Then see what we get, x square by beta square plus y square by alpha square equal to constant. This is again equation for ellipse. Okay. So both are ellipse only. Right.